Right, two miles, and we're going right. Stage one of Director Lab's Scottish Borders adventure would see us crossing the border back into England and visiting the Holy Island of Lindisfarne, driving along the A68, A697 and B6353, a distance of 94 miles. OK, hello and welcome to another amazing adventure from the Retro Lab. This time I don't have a car because it is f It got all the way here and then it died. So John here is doing the driving. We're going 1.5 and we're going right. Yep. Hey. Oh. <laughs> well, it might be a bit of a kink right left here. Here's, here's the left. I said go right, don't worry about it. Let's go way too fast. I gave you plenty of warning. Turn around or what? No, it's corrected it now. Keep going. Just added on four minutes this <laughs> journey. Hey, <laughs> Northumberland. We must be in England now. Yeah. That must be England. Drive 2.4 miles, then turn left on the road. at the cameras. Hey! Or just in general, slow down. Uh, uh. There's a camera there. there. What? There. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're right then, yeah. Yeah. 
right. So two miles right, bit of a straight here, and then probably quite a tow right coming up. Going straight. Oh, it's trying to take us back to that same fucking marker. All right, that's right. It's way over two seconds. So he didn't update for some reason. Oh, we're on that one. How's that fuel pump getting noisy? Right. All right. Bit of a straight, and then you've got a left, and then a right. Drive three point five miles. Turn left onto B6353. And then another right left slightly after that to die. Right, here's the right left. Right, it's 
slow down. We're turning not this road, but that road with a fee. School fire engine, by the way. Oh, no, it's not. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think this will only be a slight right over this crest. Right, but then you have got a tight left coming up fairly soon. Uh, oh god! There is the tight right or left. <laughs> Goes on for a little way. Finance. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, this is a new thing. So left here. And we've got another junction coming up soon. Here it is, T junction. We're going right, right, right. Turn right on the 6353. Nice. Nice, yeah. Back to the Ford. Yeah. Well, loop. I hope not. We're supposed to have gone east and then south and then east a bit more and stuff, yeah. But yeah, it might have. This might be the main road back or something, yeah. Drive right. 4.3 miles on the 6,353. Oh, that's true. <laughs> 4.1 and we're turning left, 4 and we're turning left. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Oh, this is Ford Village. Uh, just forward, yeah. Nice. It's like touristy village thing down there. Right, long straight. Long straight but we're turning right a left pretty soon Turning left in 1.4 miles. 
go past and everything wrong. Yeah. Well, it might be like a T junction at the end of this road. round to the right and then we keep going straight but it looks like it might actually technically be a right. Yeah there we go, that way. Oh, right. uh. Go go go! Continue 2.5 miles then turn left on the road. Okay, yeah, it's a, it's a right of a tractor on it. Tight left here. Very slow car. Yeah, go for it. Go for it whenever oh. you, you're safe. Anything. Good. Go, go, go. 2.2 miles, we're going left onto the Linda's Farm Causeway. Linda's Farm. Linda's Farm. Linda had a farm. I mean, is it owned by Linda or is it Linda's yeah. Farm? Linda's Farm. It's Linda's Farm. Linda's farm. Linda's farm. <laughs> yeah, Linda's farm. That's what I used to think it was called. But why is it like did someone called Linda had a farm on it? Old Mac Linda had a farm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Wiggly as fuck this bit, so it should be good. But no tight ones by looks of it. Should be good if we can see. 
Yeah, well, there it is. That's so. the trouble. <laughs> oh, look, the seat. Yeah. Oh, there's the course seat. Is it? Cross over a main road or like a bridge over it. Too safe. In case. Yeah. Just down. John's quite a stickler for that. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Maybe we did kangaroo that guy. There's strictly no excess. He's so straight in there. <laughs> I don't care what your sign says. Right, we're going to get onto the causeway any second now. See the reflection, it looks like it's flying, but it's like a mirage thing. It's like the, the boat's it's hovering. Yeah. Apparently, you know, they like, say about ghost ships and they fly in the air and stuff, that's the same as that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do not proceed when water reaches causeway. It's so well close, isn't it? <laughs> what was there? You're going to want to do it because it said single file traffic so you want to get ahead of that bike. What? Single file traffic so you want to get ahead of that bike. Yeah, traffic meaning cars. You don't get by him and you through that. I'll just knock him in the seat. Like <laughs> I know it's only here that's single file. The Holy Island of Lindisfarne, also known as Holy Island, is a tidal island off the coast of northeast England in Northumberland, within an area of outstanding natural beauty on the Northumberland coast. Huh? Signs every 200 yards or whatever it means it's a 60. Not causeway, it's just a road built on the beach. The Holy Island of Lindisfarne is apparently well known for its mead, 
which is an alcoholic beverage made with honey and water, sometimes also using fruits, spices, grains and or hops. Holy Island appears in recorded history as far back as the 6th century when it was seen as an important centre of Celtic Christianity, with a monastery being founded by an Irish monk who would go on to become known as St. Aidan of Lindisfarne in 634. On the 8th of June 793, Lindisfarne was raided by Vikings, which marked the beginning of the Viking Age. Lindisfarne's monks abandoned the island in 875 and took the bones of St. Cuthbert with them, which are now buried in Durham Cathedral. In 1550, a castle was built under the orders of King Henry VIII, and stones from Lindisfarne Priory were used as building materials. The castle is small by usual standards, but features guns such as one wheel-mounted and one fixed-mount demi-culverin, two brass sakers and a falcon. The castle was strengthened and rearmed under orders of Queen Elizabeth I, adding artillery platforms. After King James VI and I had unified the crowns in 1603, the need for the castle declined, but a small garrison was still sent from Berwick to protect the island's harbour. We gave stage one of the Retrolab's Scottish Borders adventure a score of 52 points. Predictably, this put stage one at the top of our adventure leaderboard. How long can it stay there? Subscribe to find out. The score of 52 points is not enough to get this stage onto our overall leaderboard. Can any stage from the adventure make it on? Subscribe to find out. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss another episode of the Retrolab Scottish Borders Adventure.